Good morning, Glencliff. For those of you who were not able to join us this morning, January 31st for adult education time and for worship together, we wanted to say that we missed you. We know that you are out there. We called your name. We're saying um, prayers for you, holding space for you, and just wanted to share some of our prayer time and our scripture with you this morning. Um, we do have a birthday this week. Joy has a birthday. So if any of you see Joy, um, her birthday was, was yesterday. So feel free to text her or call her and send her regards. Let us open our short time together in prayer. This prayer comes from a man named um, Jim Cotter, and it is um, from a book that he has called Prayer at Night. Um, so receive this prayer and calling God into this space with us. Let us pray. God, be in my head and in my understanding. God, be in my eyes and in my looking. God, be in my mouth and in my speaking. God, be in my tongue and in my tasting. God, be in my lips and in my greeting. God, be in my nose and in my smelling and inhaling. God, be in my ears and in my hearing, God be in my neck and in my humbling, God be in my shoulders and in my bearing, God be in my back and in my standing, God be in my arms and my reaching and receiving, God be in my hands and in my working, God, be in my legs and in my walking. God, be in my feet and in my grounding. God, be in my joints and in my relating. God, be in my gut and in my feeling. God, be in my lungs and in my breathing. God, be in my heart and in my loving. God, be in my skin and in my touching. God, be in my flesh and in my painting. God, be in my blood and in my living. God, be in my bones and in my dying. God, be at my end and at my reviving. Amen. What a gift to know that God is in, in all these things, traveling with us every day. This was the, sh the prayer that we shared this morning together. And now I'm going to read for you our scripture from this morning. The scripture is about prophets, about who we call our prophets, about how we listen for prophetic words and who speaks for God. The scripture this morning is Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 5 through 20. And as I read this, I just want you to think about what injustice looks like in your life or how you see injustice playing out in our lives and in our world. What are the words that jump out to you during this scripture? Feel free to rewind it and play it again. Sometimes we need to hear the scripture twice. So hear these words from Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 through 20. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. You shall heed such a prophet. You shall listen to them. This is what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly when you said, if I hear the voice of the Lord my God anymore or ever again see this great fire, I will die. Then the Lord replied to me, they are right in what they have said. 
I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their own people. I will put my words in their mouth who shall speak to them everything that I have commanded, said God. Anyone who does not heed the words that that prophet shall speak in my name, I myself will hold accountable. But any prophet who speaks in the name of the other gods or who presumes to speak in my name a word that I have not commanded that the prophet speak shall surely die. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Some of the questions that we talked about this morning were about the injustices that we are seeing in our world right now. We talked a little bit about the prophets, who our prophets are in our lives, ways that prophetic speak speech and action can be risky, and what are those costs for prophets? How do we support our prophets? And how can we be prophetic in our words and in our actions? Some of the words that we read from Deuteronomy are containing the stories um, that God is amongst the people and how God would order the life and community of the people to help them live together well. Um, God's people were asking for a mediator and so God gave them Moses. Who is speaking amongst us today? I'm going to read a quote from a prophet that we all know, Martin Luther King. This was read, um, or this quote comes out of his letter from a Birmingham jail. If you've never read that full letter, um, I would encourage you to go uh, and look that up, uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from a Birmingham jail, um, and read and read that. This quote that comes from his letter goes like this. Was not Jesus an extremist for love? Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, pray for them that despitefully use you. So the question is not whether we will be an extremist or not, but what kind of extremist we will be. Will, be, will we be extremists for hate or will we be extremists for love? Will we be extremists for the perseverance of injustice or will we be extremists for the cause of justice? These are things that together we will be thinking about throughout the week and discerning how we might be able to be more prophetic in our own life and world. Let us leave each other with these words, with this prayer, and know that all are welcome to join us again next week uh, when we join and read through scripture together, hear how that is speaking into our lives right now, um, and as we support each other on this journey, let us go out in prayer. Disturb us, O oh Lord, when we are too well pleased with ourselves, when our dreams have come too true because we dreamed too little, because we sailed too close to the shore. Disturb us, O oh Lord, when the abundance of things we possess, we have lost our thirst for the water of life. When having fallen in love with time, we have ceased to dream of eternity and in our efforts to build a new earth, we have allowed our vision of heaven to grow dim. Stir us, O oh Lord, 
to dare more boldly to venture into wider seas where storms show thy mastery. We're losing sight of land. We shall find the stars. In the name of the God who pushed back the, the horizons of our hopes and invited the brave to follow. Amen. That was a prayer written by one of our modern day prophets, um, Bishop Desmond Tutu. You all, you are loved. Go in peace.